Okay, so it's pretty windy, but hopefully you can hear me. Here is what I have. I have a road grader. First time I've ever hauled one of these, so this is an adventure. I thought I would show you how it will be secured. On these road graders, or any piece of equipment, they'll have these stickers that show you where they want you to secure. So here's a point that they have designated as a securement point. So what I've done, I didn't have quite enough chain to go all the way across. So I have this run through that eye and then down and around two of the spools. And I have a binder, same arrangement on the other side. So this is the middle point of securement. So I have it attached there to the trailer. This is actually one chain I'm using with two separate binders. We call this short chaining. So it's going up through the eye and then back down. I have the binder hooked to the, this side of the chain and down here and tight. I have the same thing on the other side. I ran the slack through. You see there's slack here between the two. This is the same chain. I just ran it back through the eye and then down to the other side of the rail and put the binder on. So I'm treating, I'm more or less, uh, essentially I'm cutting the chain in half with the eye being in the middle. And that's the excess chain I have slack down here in the middle. So I'm using two binders. So it counts as two points of securement for the weight, but it's only one chain. So I save myself a little bit of work. Now in the back, same arrangement. I have it hooked around the trailer up to this eye. I have it pulled up through the eye and then back down. And then I have my binder securing it. Same chain. The slack is hanging down there in the middle and then going to the other side. So on the other side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I thought I would show you on this side. I already have, I already have it hooked to the rail. I'm going to go up with my binder, and I'm going to connect to this slack area here, and I'm going to pull it back this way with the binder, connect the binder down here that's connected to the trailer, and it's going to pull this taut, and that's where I'm going to get my securement back here. So I thought I would set this up on a tripod and see how that works, see if you can see as I uh, secure this side. Okay, so I have my binder ready to go. It's already set to tighten. So I just have to reach up here and take out the slack. Hook it at the top somewhere. And then pull all the slack I can out of it. And hook this link right here. There. Okay. Then tighten it up. Start to get tight. When I first started, a guy told me if you're not afraid, you're about to break something. All of this equipment, it's not tight enough. Ah, I think that it's tight. So I have the two chains here at the front of the, the grater, but at the back of the trailer. 
and they're pulling against each other and they're pulling at an angle pulling it toward the back of the trailer I have two binders doing the short chain method here in the center through that eye and they're pulling slightly toward the front not it's not any great degree but it's pulling toward the front it's pulling toward the back so it keeps it from moving toward the front and then I have the two at the back of the grater or at the front of the trailer and they're pulling it toward the trailer so I've got secure them pulling opposite direction most of them are pulling toward the back because I don't want it coming up to the front with me I want it to stay back here where it belongs and then these two at the front are pulling it back toward the front so it can't try to work its way backward so that is a road grader secured six binders but I only had to use three chains so working economically and each chain is good for 8,000 pounds best case scenario maybe slightly less and this thing weighs 40,000 pounds I still need to put two straps over the blade to secure the blade down and those will be about 5,000 each so six securements say 7,000 just for round numbers that's 42,000 and then 10,000 for the two straps so I'll be at 52,000 pounds of securement more importantly this thing's not going anywhere so that's securing a road grader using chains and the short chain method